What's going on, everybody? Hey, it's Mike Riolo. Dad, we're back in the backyard today. Things are recovering absolutely just fantastic. Um, going really, really well. Have been running into one little issue, though, is we've been getting a lot of rain, a lot more rain than we had this time last year. It's pretty much like almost like Florida with afternoon showers that just happen to hit. When I'm off work, I need to mow, but I can't. And so that's kind of what happened this week. I mowed on Friday and it already needs another mow. I'm even under regulation right now. So what I have is areas where the turf has gotten thicker. And I don't know if you can see it here, but I got another shot. And what happens is just the turf is just so thick and it's so dense because this is the world's greatest Bermuda lawn. And the reel can't get all the way down. And so I have varying height mismatches going back and forth. Today, we're fixing that. And the only way to fix that is by mowing a lot. So I'm looking at three to four passes at a minimum, and I may have to actually go and scalp it. I've already perimeter trimmed the area with the trusty landscape blade, and oh, I forgot, it got a hold of me twice. The first time a bee, like a wasp, evil wasp, came right in front of my face, scared the crap out of me. Second time, yeah, right there. Oops, oh well, that's okay things happen. Now, let's get this mower out and get going. Oh yeah. So I'm also using the grass catcher today. We're going to be using that solely because one grass clipping suck on your feet. I've been using it on and off throughout the year, but mainly when I know people were going to be over, like around the 4th of July when my mom and Dean were in town uh, and they came over, don't want everything like getting tracked in through the house. And I was catching them a lot earlier in the season before we prevented friends from coming over with my kids again when the uh, COVID thing started picking up really hardcore crazy here in Tennessee. So now we don't have a lot of people over, so I've kind of gotten lazy and not using the grass catcher. But today we're using it because it's going to have, there's going to be a lot of clippings with the amount of passes going over. And when I mowed two days ago, there were a ton. It was just shooting it out. And we'll see a little bit of footage of that. Oh, man. Yeah, so it was shooting out a lot. There was a ton of them. And then it gets rain and it just, it gets icky. It gets really icky. So grass catcher today, yes. You're welcome, Connor Ward. Also gonna be doing a different pattern. I, I really like my double fats. I'm gonna do double fats again, but my primary direction, I'm actually gonna go parallel to the garden wall. Okay, so far I'm digging this pattern, except for one thing. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I have my original cut pass cut in, double wide. Double wide's coming this way, going that way. I'm gonna have to backfill in that area leading to the trampoline. So let's see how I do that. So what I did is I just continued on, ignoring this little bit here, and then I'm now back at a point where I can continue on the mow. The stripe is a little crappy, I will admit that, but that's okay. So let's finish up this section here because multiple passes, I'll be going another direction, then I'll finish off in the same direction again, and that way all the stripes will be awesome.
Okay, so now we have to do this back area here behind the pool. And because I don't want to mow over any of the existing stripes, because the stripes coming up right here go right along the pool, we're going to finish this section here. We're going to come back down a stripe from here going this way, then come back up the stripes this way, and we'll turn at this point right here and continue on. That way we don't have overlap and the stripes pop. Basket number seven or something, I don't know. Okay, so pass number one is complete behind me here. It doesn't look too terribly bad, but it can look better. So we're gonna kick things off into a little hyperdrive action for pass number two. I'm gonna do the same thing I did the last time. It's just gonna be a row of singles, and I'm gonna be going, you know, this way, the way I typically go, and that'll produce a really fantastic little offset diamond D pattern to go with. So let's get to it. Okay, pass two. Cool thing, only one container of clippings out of that one versus like the seven or eight for pass one. So we're making progress. Yeah, not too shabby, not too shabby at all. And by the time we're done with pass number three, the sun should be in the optimal position to just show it all off.
feet, but the new pattern looks pretty good. I hope you all enjoyed how I went through. I kind of came up with the pattern on the fly and didn't really think, think any of it through and where to start, but it worked out really well. I like the pattern. I like the angle. It seems to be a good bit because the sun is, you know, back in that area there. So when I'm sitting in the shed, sitting on it, you know, having a nice cold beverage after I'm done working. Yeah, I'll be able to see these stripes on the world's greatest Bermuda lawn. So thank you all for watching this one. I'm tired. I need a beer or an iced tea or water. I just, I need something. So I'm going to grab that. You all have a fantastic time, fantastic day, fantastic evening, whenever it is that you watch this, and we'll see you all again soon.